On the Profile TV segment this week, I'll be speaking with the national president of Nuhi. He brings us up to speed on several challenges workers have faced in the country and timeline of possibilities with the federal government as regards checkmating the increase in the electricity tariff. It's good to have you on the program. Thank you. So what is your opinion about estimated billing in the country? Oh, thank you very much, Sharon. Uh, let me uh, take you to speed on what uh, transpired and uh, what happened uh, on the uh, past uh, picketing of NEC discourse, a minister of power. Labor will use all what it has to defend our members and I must tell you this, that uh, Nigerian must know, government must know, any organization must know, that every labor must be respected. When you say this, it means they are the one creating the wage and be rewarded accordingly. And this makes us to say we must voice on this particular decision as regards the high necessity tariff. What is your opinion about the several challenges that workers are faced in your sector. Let me bring it to this. Any country that will survive in the economy must first of all fix power sector. That is what we must know. No business can thrive without having power. Electricity is very, very important to allow business to thrive. And uh, Nigeria at the moment have a very poor generation. Let me analyze this to you. You have hydro, you have gas. What are the numbers or the, the, the capacity of these stations we are talking about to the population we have in Nigeria? If truly we want to improve in power sector, generation must first of all be fixed. You cannot give what you don't have. With that population, you are still operating under 5,000 megawatts. It is as poor as that. 13 years ago, we were under this 4,000, 3,000, 4 megawatts. And now we are giving electricity a tariff every day, increasing it every day. With the same generation, with this level of generation, honestly, we are still facing serious challenges in power sector. Though other sectors have a lot of challenges too. I mean, I'm talking about transmission and distribution. But as it is presently now, you discover that even what we are generating, at the moment, transmission has the capacity to will it. Even if it stands too of what we are having at the moment, transmission has the capacity to will it. But go to distribution. What is their, their preparation? Do they prepare to even to receive all these all, all this, uh, megawatts, all these loads from generation and transmission? Of course, no. Go to your area this morning. See the level of load shedding everywhere. Transformer limitation because there was no proper investment in power sector at distribution level. How are your members responding to this development? I said it earlier, that we go extra mile to protect our workers. At the moment you make an announcement of 300% increase of electricity uh, tariff, and the workers that is collecting this revenue did not receive 1% increase in their salary. Where is it done? That is pure injustice. You want me to go and collect money from customers from 66 uh, Naira kilowatt hour to 225 kilowatt hour. And me that is collecting this money, you did not increase my salary from 30,000 even to 31,000. No incentive, no promotion especially at distribution level. I said it a few days ago at AEDC, that AEDC, when they got the company, they were making around 4 billion naira. Sorry, I have to make this public. But now they have increased in some percentage. And up to date, workers under them are facing serious challenges about increment in salary, promotion, and a lot of problems. Of course, it's been a very busy week for organized labor. And recently, um, 
organized labor walked out of the negotiating meeting of the minimum wage, which consists of organized private sector and also government. Um, on the table, the proposal that was brought to the table was 48,000 Naira. Um, as the president of Nuhi, do you have any comments as regards this development? So the question was how to improve uh, uh, the capacity in the power sector. At least we know it is the bedrock of our economy. And uh, the best way is to first of all fix all other sectors. And that is the truth and nothing but the truth. And I said it that the first thing that government should first of all look into is the moment you have the, some generation that for the past one or two years, what they are giving us in the national grid is the same thing they are giving to us. Apart from the recent one we have from Sungeru Hydro, which gave us almost 700 megawatts. Before you are having 1,320 megawatts on a beam. That is what you are about. And now you see the cover, it's the same 700 megawatts you are having on it. You have, you have some gas power station like Omotosho, like uh, uh, Olorun Shogo, like Ihobo, and so many other stations like that that are generating power through gas. And we have more generation. I am telling you this sincerely, power will feel it. Business owner will feel it. Manufacturer will feel it. Are you getting my point now? Once you are sending the uh, 4,000 men to Nigeria, it means you are sending darkness from my own angle. I frown at it. We are not calling that uh, power, I mean, tariff in uh, the city should be static. We all understand that the cost of gas uh, is not, uh, you know, stable. But when you are calling for an increase, make it transparent. Let there be proper consultation of the stakeholders in the sector. Let those who are using it be involved too. You don't just wake up overnight and tell uh, the MD Sharon group of company, your, 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 your cloth hour was 66 Naira yesterday, tomorrow you'll be paying 200 Naira. How will you feel? I am telling you the ripple effect will be on your workers. Because the more you cannot produce again, the workers will have problem. And that's where we are, what we are saying, that Nigeria should wake up and let's talk truth to ourselves. Let's say the truth and let's fix this power sector. Thank you. And that's all we can take on today's edition of the program. Join us next week for a fresh edition of the show. I am Sharon Ijasson. Thanks for watching and remember that labor creates wealth.